All right, guys, thanks for tuning into this Diagnostic World video. Uh, in this video, we're going to do a full uh, demonstration and review of the iCarsoft TYT version 1.0 kit. Now, this is the newest tool from iCarsoft for Toyota. Lexus and Isuzu vehicles uh, works on global vehicles so Asia uh, America and uh, Europe all over the world in fact and uh, it's basically a, a scan tool which is designed to cover all of the main systems within your within your vehicle and um, do diagnostic resets so it'll diagnose the faults give you the fault codes and also diagnose uh, so reset the warning lights on the dashboard uh, so we have the tool plugged into the uh, the diagnostic port which is on underneath the steering wheel uh, and one end goes in the diagnostic port and then the other end comes into the tool here uh, just an opening on the top there uh, so before we get into the video just a quick note to say that the tool is available at Diagnostic World it's a www.diagnostic-world.com I am going to put the link to this kit in the description and in the comments box below this video so it'll give you a quick link to the uh, the product and you'll be able to see more pictures more videos and more information about the actual item but this this video is just really a quick run through of the features and the uh, the screens that you will see when you plug the tool in all right so um, First of all, this is the home screen. You'll notice that um, there's no beeping here. You can go into setup and turn the buzzer or the beeping sound on or off, depending on whether you prefer it. I personally don't like it, so I always go in and turn that off, first of all. And once you've turned it off once, it'll always be off. So, um, in this Toyota Yaris here, we've got the check engine light, we've got the airbag light, and we've got the Yes, that's the check engine light, sorry. That's the airbag light, that's the ABS light. Don't worry about that, that's just because we've got the handbrake on. Uh, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna go through and diagnose these faults and also reset them. So we'll click into diagnostics first of all. We'll select our vehicle, which is a Toyota. <coughs> Excuse me. And then we're gonna select our vehicle. Obviously, if you're in uh, Japan or North America, you'd select those, but we're in Europe, so we're gonna select other area. And then we're gonna select manual. And we're gonna diagnose the engine system first, so it's engine and ECT, so I'm gonna click enter. Read fault code. And it's giving us a fault code relating to the check engine light and also a description of the fault. Now, in this case, it was a problem with the ignition coil which has been replaced, so we're gonna now um, reset the fault codes and also turn off the check engine light. So, clear fault memory. Well, keep one eye on the check engine light while I do this. There we go, check engine light has gone off. On screen we have a raise operation done. So that's the check engine light taken care of. Next up, we'll go to the airbag system. So that's SRS airbag here. And then we'll go to read fault code. And we've got a different fault code this time, so it's B1821. And it's open in side squib. So again, what we're gonna do is, uh, for the purposes of the video, we simply just unclip the uh, connection underneath the driver's seat. And then we put it back in. But the light is on, so we're gonna clear fault memory. And when I click OK here, we should see the airbag light turn off. There we go, airbag light is gone, erase operation done. So that's good. And then we've got left with the ABS light. So we'll scroll into ABS VSC TRC. Again, we'll read the code. We unclip the connection for the uh, rear right ABS sensor, which is giving us this fault code and this description. Same again, we're gonna clear fault memory. This one's a little bit different though because when we click OK, it'll clear the code, but the ABS light won't automatically turn off. For this, what you need to do is turn the engine off and then back on again. And then you'll find all the lights temporarily come on and then they'll all turn off again, which they have done. So we'll click back. 
And that's basically just to give you an idea of how the tool works for reading codes and resetting codes and warning lights. It's quite simple. Um, it it managed to diagnose those systems with absolutely no problems whatsoever and there are a few other systems depending on the vehicle setup that you can go in and diagnose as well. Now um, what I want to show you is the oil service reset so depending on your vehicle you can go in and reset the you might get a service message on your vehicle once the uh, the car is due for a service like an oil change so you can go ahead and and change that over should you wish to in this car we don't need to, to do the reset but this is the, the process that you would go through in any case so just basically selecting your vehicle and following the on-screen uh, steps so the voltage will give you current battery voltage so it'll give you a minimum from the test, a maximum from this test, and obviously a, uh, a live data which is moving ridiculously quick for me to even tell you about. So, uh, But you can see the minimum and the maximums, that's all you really need to look at. Um, so it's a good indication as to whether your battery is in good condition or not. Um, then we've got OBD2, so if you've got a vehicle which isn't a Toyota, a Lexus or an Isuzu, say you might have an Audi or a BMW in your family, then you can use this to diagnose engine fault codes in other vehicles as well. So that's a really useful tool to have, so it'll cover the main systems on the Toyota, Lexus and Isuzu vehicles, but engine on all other vehicles. Now one thing I didn't show you earlier is the, uh, if we go back into the diagnostic section and we go back into, as if we're going to read the engine codes. There's a little section here called view data. And this is going to give us live data from the vehicle. So it's giving us an option of 144 different types of live data that we can obtain from this vehicle. So what we'll do is we'll just click all and it's going to select everything, then click start. And what this is going to do is give us data from the engine exactly as it's happening right now. So you can see we've got the coolant temperature 83 degrees and we can scroll down and just pick off different bits of information that are suitable for us. So you can see the RPM there is just under 600. Uh, we've got the air intake at 26 degrees, the MAF at 1.14, throttle sensor voltage, O2 sensor information, And the good thing about this tool is that you can actually record data as well. So you may be getting certain uh, threshold data when the car is stationary, but you may, for example, really need to get certain bits of information from certain sensors while the car is running. And what you'd need to do is basically record the data while you're driving, and then there's an option on the main screen to go back in and review it. I'll show you that in a moment. But again, we've got all of these different sensor values. I'm not going to go through them all because there's 144 to get through and that would just take forever. But you get the idea of the type of data that you are likely to come across. Okay, so we'll come out of this now. And there we go. So if we go back to review, that is what you would click into. We haven't recorded any data, but that's what you'd click into to review the data that you had previously recorded. So it's a good little live data um, tool to uh, have a look at. Um, just This is about, it just gives you information about the serial number, um, the software versions, etc. And uh, help screens, what is OBD. It's just a little bit of basic information about um, the modes and vehicle coverage. So, uh, you get free updates for life with this tool, all done through the official iCarsoft website. We are an official iCarsoft stocklist. Uh, be aware of fakes and uh, clone units. Uh, as I say, it is available at Diagnostic World, www.diagnostic-world.com. 
Um, I'll put the links to this kit in the description and in the comments box below. If you are interested in maybe placing an order, please do it through the website. Um, we are a small business and we don't go through eBay or Amazon or anything like that so uh, we really appreciate if you can go through the website if you are interested in the tool. It's a great addition for any of these owners, any anybody who wants to put one of these in the you know, the glove box or the boot, if you're going away on a long journey, it could potentially get you out of a lot of trouble, take the car out of limp mode, um, if you get a, an unknown fault while you're out and about on the roads. Uh, so it's a, a valuable investment and it's well worth it in our eyes. So thanks for watching and I hope this helps.